What's up guys? Welcome to another Build a Freak Garage episode. Starting this one off in the red sled today because this is what we're working on. It's going to be a very short video today. Just doing some minimal mods but uh, hopefully it'll be enjoyable for you guys to watch. We're putting in a new, uh, or installing a new vinyl banner on the red sled because the gold paint isn't working out as well as I was hoping it would. So I'm going to have to chip all the paint off of it and then get the new vinyl on. And I'm also going to change out the ignition coils on this car because for some reason this thing is unusually slower than it should be. I want to find out uh, if maybe the ignition coils maybe are going bad. So uh, we're going to go do that all today and uh, head back to the garage right now. Get the car in the garage and we'll start chipping off all this gold paint. Alright, back at the garage. Time to turn on all the lights. One of my favorite things to do because it goes from dark to light. Make sure I get all the lights up on the walls turned on too. I know you guys enjoy watching me do this. Whenever I film in here, it helps to have all the lights on so that way you guys can actually see what the hell I'm doing. I'm gonna pull the red car in and uh, yeah, we'll get to work scraping off all this gold paint. That is probably gonna be the most labor intensive part about this whole process. So hopefully it doesn't hurt too bad to get all this crap done. Let's get the red sled in the garage and uh, start working. All right, got the car in the garage. Scotty just pulled up, so that's good. Uh, something I didn't film that uh, I did the other day to this car. I mean, it wasn't that exciting, but ever since I put these wheels on, I've been racking bald tires, and I got some fresh freaking meat for the back of this thing. So the front tires were actually, they're probably like three or a quarter of their life left, so I didn't change those yet. But the back ones were just completely bald and made this thing like impossible to actually drive in the, in the rain. Like it would just hydroplane the ass end all over the place. So it was really scary. So now uh, I don't have to worry about that. Now I'm gonna start working on chipping off all this gold paint, getting it cleaned up, ready for the new vinyl. Okay, well, me and Scotty worked on both getting the getting the gold uh, stripe off, and we did pretty much a good job. It actually went a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. Uh, I just went took the car out and sprayed it off with the power washer. As you can see, there's still some like streaks of uh, primer and shit left, so I'm gonna try to hit those. I'm gonna go ahead and try to hit those with some paint thinner and see if I can get the rest of that off. And the next thing you know, we're gonna be putting on the banner. And uh, just like that, got all the paint off the windshield, and we got the new sticker stuck. Got it cut out. Looks pretty good. Cutting could have been a little bit better, but uh, this is my first time doing one of these on a 1G, and the side panels here don't come off, so kind of got a square cut in the corner, but came out pretty good. Next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and get the uh, coils taken, uh, the old coil packs taken off, and then uh, I'm gonna switch them out for the new ones, so hopefully those work. Okay, got the coil packs changed out to the new ones. Uh, I haven't started the car yet because I got everything apart in the air filter part. I actually have a can end and spike, so I'm going to go grab that and drop it in here. We'll see if the thing fires up. Then we're probably going to be changing out Scotty's headlight, so uh, we'll add that into this video. We'll get this stuff done, so uh, hopefully this car drives better now that I changed out the coil packs, so fingers crossed. Okay, well, just like that, got the coils installed, got the K9 air filter installed, and you can see the new banner. I don't know if I showed that yet, but it looks pretty damn good. So now we're going to switch this car out and go ahead and get Scotty's car in here and get uh, working on that. Hi. Right. well we got the car swapped around. Just took the red side for a quick test drive and it feels better, uh, but uh, I don't think it's completely better, but uh, it definitely feels better, so that's at least a start. So uh, now we got the G6 in, Scotty's new car, and we are attempting to replace these passenger headlights because the uh, bulbs are out. Uh, let's get to it. Well, we put the new headlight bulb in, and as you can tell, we had to take the whole headlight assembly out because 
there's actually a loose connection in this wiring right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that fixed up for them so the headlights work. I've got both headlights working now. Uh, it was just a little wiring issue. Uh, so now he has both low beams at least. The high beam doesn't work, but at least the low beams are working, so at least he can drive like that. Uh, next thing we're going to do, we're going to hit it up with some headlight restorer, because these things are pretty foggy. So I'm going to hit it with my DA and uh, hopefully get them pretty shiny. Okay, well we got the headlights done. The passenger side came out a lot better than the driver's side. The driver's side's still a little bit foggy. That's all we're gonna do today on the V6. It's a good new car for Scotty. A lot, uh, a lot better of an upgrade than the Saturn he used to have. Uh, he has some big plans for it, so that's uh, good news. But anyway, I uh, appreciate you guys watching this quick little video. Uh, I know it's not very long. I still appreciate you guys. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe because we crossed over that 1,000 subscriber mark. Now we're shooting for 2,000. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Make sure you guys have a good day. So peace.